Open source is changing the world one pull request at a time. Your pull request. You might have heard of Hacktoberfest, but what is it really? I'll give you a clue. It involves open source and the month of October. In short, you do open source contributions and you get lots of swag. But there's a lot more to it. Bear with me and let me explain why. Iron Man had Jarvis. You probably have Alexa. I have a brioche. Damn straight you do. Those tools have nothing on me. Not yet, bri brioche. Please bring up the Hacktoberfest website. Here you go, um, lazy human. That's a bit small. Brioche, they can't see that. It's, that's showing it for me. Can you rotate it so everyone else can see, please? Fine. Do you want me to eat your food for you too? Are you trying to save on memory and bandwidth? That quality is so low. Brioche, enhance. Maybe you need to get your eyes checked, Grandpa. Enhanced. <laughs> She's so cheeky. Brioche, you're fired. Hacktoberfest is a month-long celebration in October, encouraging the world to contribute to open source. It is run by DigitalOcean. You just sign up in October and complete four pull requests, and then you get free swag. But there's so much more to it than just the swag. The benefit of contributing to open source is huge. If you're familiar with my channel, you know I talk about this all the time. But for those of you who are new, let me just briefly say the other benefits. You get to upskill. You get to network with other like-minded people around the world. And this will help you get the job, the client, and money that you deserve, as well as benefiting the technical community around the world. And you may think, but what is an open source pull request? Open source are public projects where you can make improvements and changes to it. And you may think, well, I'm new to tech or I'm new to this project, what value can I add? The value you can add is enormous because you have a different perspective on the project and with your new set of eyes on the project and technology, you can actually lower the barrier to entry for the next person. Your questions, your feedback will really help improve the project for the whole community and the people that are coming to the project after you. So if you are new, please get involved and please ask those questions. And if you make a suggestion, ask a question, make a change and a pull request, and it's not quite right, what's the worst that's gonna happen? They're gonna say no thank you and close the issue or the pull request. You still get the open source contribution. So my suggestion to you is, get involved, you will learn so much. And even if your work is not accepted and closed, you will meet awesome people while doing that. And you may think, well, what is an issue and what is a pull request? An issue is starting the conversation, either asking a question, raising an idea, a bug, etc. A pull request is actually making the change yourself to the existing code base. And a code base can include documentation, diagrams, translations, as well as code and testing. So raising an issue, you still get the open source contribution. It doesn't count towards Hacktoberfest though. You need to raise a pull request for it to count towards Hacktoberfest. But if it doesn't get accepted, don't worry, it still counts. And most project maintainers want to accept your pull request. So they may put a comment and make some suggestions on how you can improve it to get it accepted. As a project maintainer myself, I love getting your contributions. And you may think, oh, my contribution will be quite small. Do you know what? The smaller, the better. The smaller the pull request, the more likely your pull request is gonna get merged into the default branch. I believe there is no pull request too small. And you may be thinking, well, October is so far away. It's not, it's just round the corner. Let's get practicing and let's get into open source today. Before I do a demo of how straightforward it is to do a pull request, let me just remind you on how you can support the channel and get involved in the conversation. You can support the channel by subscribing to the YouTube channel below. It's free and really helps support us. Give the video a thumbs up. And we also have a Discord channel. The link is in the description below. And on Discord, we can chat between live streams and videos with the rest of the community. You know the drill, share it with your friends, they also might be interested in this video and learning about Hacktoberfest and open source. Let's demo how to create a PR. First of all, find a project that you would like to contribute to. I have quite a few, from Discord bots to awesome GitHub profile suggestions and ideas and inspiration for you, to practice projects. 
I suggest looking at the projects that you already use. If you use Angular, React, Node, potentially look at those projects or projects that are built on top of those because you'll be familiar with them and it makes it a bit easier for you. So look at what you're using now. Look at the libraries that you include in your NPM package or any other package manager that you use. Then if you look in the issue section, you can see what bugs have been raised, ideas, and get involved in the discussion. Then you learn more about the project and know how you can help. Have you ever used a library and thought, oh, it'd be nice to have this feature, or that was missing in the documentation? Raise an issue, start the discussion. Uh, the bigger the feature, definitely raise the issue and have the discussion with the project maintainer before you do the work and they might not be interested in it. You can make a lot of changes directly in the GitHub UI. So in the web interface, you can find the project that you want, you can find the file that you want to change, or you can search at the top left to actually search the repository and find the text or code that you're looking for. Then you can click on the file and you can hit the edit button. And what GitHub will do is create a fork of that repository. And what that means is it takes a copy of that project into your account. And then you can make the changes. You can do a commit to your fork, to your version. And once you've done that, you can then go back to the original project and click on the pull request tab. And then there is a link called compare across forks. Once you click on that, you'll see your repository should automatically be populated. Then select the branch with the changes that you want the project maintainer to look at create the project, add a screenshot, add a description, let them know what changes you made and why. Most project maintainers get back quite quickly. I know it's exciting to find out what the project maintainers thought of your pull request. They might accept it straight away, they might come back with some comments, and that's how straightforward it is to create a pull request. Put yourself in the project maintainer's shoes. Make it as clear and concise for the project maintainer. Add that description. Check that your changes only include your changes. The amount of times I've seen pull requests that actually have the correct change in it, but then have another 100 files that someone's committed by mistake. So make sure before you commit, if you're creating the pull request and only then you realize you have lots of other files, you can either close the pull request and create another one, or you can then make more changes to the same branch in your fork and it'll automatically update the pull request for you. Magic, right? I want to say a big thank you to the DigitalOcean team for running Hacktoberfest every year. It's awesome to get more people into open source and into code. I think this is a great way to encourage people to get involved. So many people want to get involved but just need that extra nudge, the extra push. Maybe Hacktoberfest is what gets them into open source and it is really addictive once you get involved. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll definitely get back to you. I would like to say a big thank you to our GitHub sponsors, especially Stephen Mount for keeping me full with carrots. All donations welcome.